good day everyone today I'm happy to bring you the 2017 Toyota Hi-Ace Grandia today I will show you the full review of the interior exterior and engine details of the Grandia so let's go and hop in check the Grandia the color of this Grandia is known as silver metallic I got your chrome accents on the door handles and on the side mirrors got your black plastic interior on the inside this is just a custom made uh, leather uh, cover but the true color of this one is uh, like a gray cloth with um, accents on it all around the uh, seats including the sidings on the doors pull the seat back Close the door. So you got six thousand three hundred nineteen. So of course this is your uh, hydraulic power steering. So, let's go and check out the uh, interior, uh, exterior by turning on the headlights and the hazards. Both windows are electrically powered, only the driver's side window is the automatic up and down. The Toyota Hi-Ace is a motor vehicle produced by Japanese manufacturer Toyota. First launched in 1967, the Hi Ace has been since available in a wide range of configurations, including minivan, 40 MPVs, and minibus, van, pickup, taxi, and ambulance. The fifth generation Hi Ace, which is this one or the H200, first appeared in 2005 as a wide long wheelbase wagon, wide super long wheelbase high roof grand cabin, long wheelbase van, long wheelbase high roof van, and wide super long wheelbase high roof van. In this generation, the gear lever has been moved to the dashboard to enable easier movement in the cabin. 5-speed manual and 4-speed automatic transmissions are available. The 5th generation High ace was launched in the Philippines on June 13, 2005 with D4D variants, 2.5 diesel and GL Grantia, both with manual transmission. In 2006, the new top-of-the-line High ace Super Grantia was launched, being the first ever High ace in the Philippines with a standard automatic transmission. The hi Ace is truly known as one of the most reliable, efficient, powerful, and comfortable vans in the market. It may be a commuter variant or the top-of-the-line Super Grandia, it surely will be a bang for the buck for all consumers. The GL Grandia used to be the top-of-the-line variant but the Super Grandia took over the throne. Now, the GL is a midline variant which still boasts quality and comfort for 11 passenger seaters. Locally, we have three different variants. Baseline model is the 16-seater commuter, midline variant is the 13-seater Grandia, and the top of the line is the 11-seater Super Grandia. H200 High A's are already 12 years in the market, but is still going strong. The High A's surely is a true warrior on the streets. In order for you to see the engine bay, first you want to release the lock on the driver's side uh, seat and on the middle seat, right around here. There you go. And now you could just uh, pull this off. Wait. I think this one got locked up. There we go. The Hi-Ace offers only one option with the engine locally. 
It is the 1KD-FTV 3.04 cylinder dual overhead cam 16 valve turbo diesel engine. It produces 135 horsepower at 3400 rpm, 221 foot pound of torque from 1200 rpm to 2400 rpm. Commuter variants are only offered with a 5 speed manual. Grandia, on the other hand, has an automatic transmission variant and a 5 speed manual. All Super Grandia, however, only has the 4 speed automatic transmission. The High Ace, whichever variant you may avail, are all offered with rear wheel drive setup. Go and hop in, check how the engine sounds. Turn off the hazards. So you got your plastic material with a leather uh, feel on it, on the steering wheel. Got your power uh, side mirror controls right here. You got your air conditioning vents uh, all around it. So as you can see, um, the design of the Grandia or the High Ace from like uh, it's. Uh, previous years for the uh, for the past decade it's it's almost the same uh, not much has been changed but there are rumors that uh, the new design will soon be launched uh, not sure if it's next year or a couple of years more but we have to look for it because this is obviously the uh, one of the best selling uh, vans uh, not just in the Philippines but globally as well got your head unit right here So you got some storage right here. Your hazard. Got your five speed manual transmission. The cup holders. So you got your air conditioning control, your fan speed, your circular vents, your different zones, your temperature, rear defogger, your room light on the rear side of this vehicle, which I will show to you later, and your rear uh, air conditioning. That's your massive uh, roof box right here. So you got airbags on uh, each side of the Grandia. Small pockets right there. No vanity mirrors. So, let's go and check out the rear seats, shall we?
got your floor lights right here. Got your jack stand right there. Yep, I wear Crocs, so please no haters. So this is the uh, food space uh, that you have on the Grandia. Some cup holders right here. Got your air conditioning controls. There you go. Here's a different perspective of the rear seats. Got massive windows all around the uh, rear cabin, as you can see. The Grandia features cup holders on each seat, as you can see. There we go. So this is the room light I was talking about earlier. Got air vents all around it, making sure to cool everyone in the hot heat in the Philippines. Got plenty of sp uh, room space on the rearmost seats. Let's check that out. Of course, you could uh, pull up the seats for more space. First is release this lever right here. Just lift this up. There we go. So if you want to lock the seats uh, upwards, first you want to grab this uh, belt right here. There we go. And on the other side, first you recline the seats first. There we go. Hold the orange. So lever. this is what you get when you fold the seats uh, up under your both seats. Got massive storage on the back side of the Grandia. Let's see what we can get in here. So there's nothing in here. Spare tire is right under you. And also you could open the back door from the inside. With this uh, door switch right here, also a lock button. So I hope you learned and enjoyed my video of the 2017 Toyota High Ace Grandia. There's a lot more to come, so please do uh, share, subscribe, and like my videos, and comment down below what you know what cars you want me to review in the future, and we'll hope to see. Uh, new videos or new cars uh, to be uh, uploaded in the future so thank you guys for uh, always supporting me all over the years and uh, this is a treat for you thank you guys signing out